Evolution X ROM latest build running on Android 14. So this is the latest build from the community and without any further ado, let's see how to install this one and also a quick walkthrough. So currently on this device, I am running the Android 14 ROM. If you go to the about phone section, over here you can see that I am running on the Dove Fest version of Android 14. And this is the latest build which I have just installed to test this ROM. So right now we are running on Android 14 and we are going to install the latest build. So for this, as usual you need some files. And the files are this is the rom.zip file and all these files are given in the description box below. So this is a primary file which we need that is the rom.zip file and also all these files that is the DFE and a firmware. These are the same files which we used to flash in Android 13 ROMs. And now also let me show you that this is the telegram channel from where you will get all your ROMs for POCO F1. Over here you will see that this is the latest release of Illusion X and also all the release notes and this download link. You simply have to click on this and you will be landed to the page where you can install the latest build of this ROM. The topmost link is the one which is the latest build, you just have to click on it and click on download anyway. I am not going to download this as it is already downloaded and stored in my internal storage. Now the next step is we have all our files and now you just simply have to power off your device and boot into TWRP. So boot into TWRP, also make sure that you are running on this latest build of TWRP. Link to how to install this TWRP will be given in the I button. Now you just have to click on wipe and select all these partitions to wipe. Once you select this, you just have to swipe to wipe and that's all. You don't have to wipe any other partition, just select this and you just have to swipe to confirm. Once you do this, all the partitions will be wiped which are the necessary ones. Now you just have to go back and now click on install. Clicking on it at the very first time you have to install two files all together. The first file is the firmware. After navigating to the prerequisite folder just click on firmware and now click on add more zips and add the rom.zip file of our Evolution X rom. So these two files needs to be flashed all together. Once you select it, you just have to swipe to confirm flash and the flashing procedure will take place. Flashing ROM will take a minute so till then, just wait for a while. Fast forward, now we are ready with the installation of this ROM and all the success notes which clarifies that our ROM and the firmware has been installed successfully without any issues. Now you just have to go back and now click on mount and click on this checkbox of vendor. That is basically you have to mount the vendor and once you do that click on install and again navigate to the prerequisite folder and install the DFE file. DFE is important to flash as this disables the force encryption and it saves your device from getting encrypted with passwords. So over here all the required files are installed that means all the files which required to run this ROM successfully has been installed without any issues and now you just have to boot into system where you will see this POCO logo and also the Evolution X ROM boot animation. So the booting will take about 2 to 3 minutes also sometimes 5 minutes so till then wait for a while. So over here our ROM has been booted successfully as expected and everything looks perfectly fine. Let's navigate to the about phone section where you will see that we are running on the latest build of Revolution X which has been recently released from the community and that now works pretty much cool and fine. So now the community has said that they have came up with some new updates in this ROM. So let's have a quick walkthrough where you will see that this is running on the November security patch and let's see some of the tweaks which they have already did. Now the evolver section it just look like the same where you will see all type of customization regarding the lock screen, themes, notification and everything. So in terms of the customization section evolution x team keeps as it is. 
like the structure and the ui everything looks fine and same right from the android 11 or 12 so you won't see any type of changes in terms of that but surely in terms of performance and some additional features this team actually works pretty well the most important highlight is this that they have came up with the ir face unlock so in this rom or in this update they have included the ir face unlock finally in android 14 which was not there before or which we were not able to see before in android 14 roms so that is something pretty cool that your android 14 base rom will also get unlock using your face and that too in the dark rest all the options look pretty much fine and good and it just a while that we booted this rom but still it looks pretty much smooth and stable in terms of home setting you will get the evolution x launcher called as launcher 3 and this is the notification dots where you just have to give the access and that's all like you do with all the other stuff all the all all the other options seems to be working pretty much fine there is no issue in terms of it and that looks pretty much smooth in miscellaneous you will get all these options like you usually get in this rom and after you set up your launcher will restart if you move on further and you will see that the rom is pretty much smooth and also in wallpaper section you will get this section where you can just customize your wallpaper and pretty much all of it so at first look the rom looks pretty much good and stable to me and as usual evolution egg doesn't hold back in terms of providing proper updates and few customization as they say so that's it for this video guys if you like this video you must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming until then see you guys again in the next one until then peace out